Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com. Today I got a door opening and it was an old door that was here and I'm going to show you how to frame that in and cover it up so obviously we're not using this as a door opening anymore. I've got all the pieces pre-cut so I'm not going to bother showing you uh, those that process. Uh, you can refer to our framing video on our YouTube channel if you'd like to see that. And I'm not also going to worry about showing you the insulating or the vapor barrier on the inside either. You can also watch other videos on our YouTube channel for those as well. So, so uh, the main thing to remember when you're doing this type of thing is you need to replace or fill this in with the same size uh, building materials as what's there. So you need to pay attention to the actual, the actual uh, framing, the studs that are in the wall. In this case, they're two by four and the outside sheeting and here we've got 3 8 sheeting so so we'll frame the opening in with the 2 by 4 lumber and then on the outside we'll put 3 8 plywood so like i said i've got i've got things uh cut to length and everything well, the first thing i'm going to do is put the uh, bottom plate on which is this one here and I've got, I've even got the stud locations marked out and you'll notice that they should line up with a couple of little studs up above the door. So I'm going to start out by putting down a bead of caulking so that uh, we can control any airflow because obviously this isn't going to fit completely air sealed tight. So we put a bead of caulking around there. We'll just go that far for right now. And I'm going to set this into my opening into that bead. And I'm just lining it up flush. Ouch, darn it. Got a sliver there. Lining it up flush with the uh, inside of the existing framing right like that and down into that bead of caulking that I put on there. Then I'm going to use the pass load nailer to fasten that in place. Okay, just like that. We're going to do the same thing at the top. So this will be our top plate here. I'm going to put the caulking on the plate just to make it e a little easier. So just a nice bead. And on the ends as well. I'll put this up in place. Same thing, I wanna put it, when it's in there, I want it flush to the inside. And same idea, I'm going to use the pass load. Okay, so those are in place. Now for the opening, what I need to have is I want to add a, a stud on each side. And that's simply so that I have some place to attach the new plywood on the outside up against the old. And in this case, I've got two, two studs in the center that are going to be lined up with the ones above. And the reason I try to line them up is so that when we're hanging drywall or whatever we've got to do in this, this side of the room, those studs, if I line up with what's existing, should end up still being on the you know 16 inch center or two foot centers or whatever this house was laid out at. Well, obviously it was 16 inch centers by looking at that. So that's the reason I try to make sure they line up so that you can find them when you're trying to hit them to hang drywall or cabinets or whatever you're doing. So again, I'm gonna put a bead of caulking on the side here. So this caulking goes anywhere where you're putting the new framing against old, just to seal up any cracks, any joints. Put that around there. So 
So once I have that, we can uh, put the two side pieces on and then we'll fit our, uh, our normal studs where they go. And like I said, just ref refer to the framing video that I have and that'll help you uh, get all this cut and talk about the crowns and how to align everything. So, okay, so this one, I'm putting it against there into that bead. I'm starting it down here flush to the inside. I'm simply, simply nailing it straight to the old framing that's there. And I'm just gonna work my way along so got it flush again and I'm nailing I don't know every couple feet I'm putting a couple nails okay so we've got that one we're gonna do the other side same thing And I'm just kind of moving it along. Either these studs here have a bit of a bow in them or, or this one does. So I'm just working my way along to match, keep it matched up as I go flush wise. I thought I had one that didn't quite go in okay so that's those two now we've got the two that uh, go out here to line up with the existing framework of the house I could have had them cut just a hair longer they would have wedged in there for me and stood in place a little easier but so I've like I said I had the plates pre-marked out to match with what's up top there so I'm gonna hold it on the mark Toenail, a couple nails in. Three nails, in fact. Same thing here. So I'm lining it up with my line, but I'm also getting the front face here flush with the inside, just like we've done with everything else. Just like that. One more to do. So we've got the stud work in. Now we're gonna switch around to the outside and I'll show you how to put the sheathing on. Okay, so we switched around to the outside now so you can see our framework. Uh, you can see the old uh, opening where the brick mold used to be from the old door. Uh, we've got a bit of building paper sticking out on the old plywood. I'm just gonna cut that back right now. I'll just kind of trace around with my uh, utility knife against the siding. that and the reason for that is uh, once you had the plywood on you would want to uh, put some house wrap on here for the in-between time from whenever you're gonna actually do something with the outside whether you're residing or whatever so you want to put some house wrap on just to protect the lumber from rain and moisture so that by cutting that paper off that gives you somewhere to overlap on to to uh, staple that on Okay, so I've got the pieces here uh, pre-cut. So I'm just going to start out. Uh, I'll start out with this taller one. So I'm going to set it in here, right down on the bottom, just like so, and just make sure that it fits inside your uh, the old plywood. It's not necessary that it's super tight. Uh, in fact, you'll notice my top one is probably going to be a half inch short or like half inch gap or so on each side uh, just because uh, I didn't have quite enough to uh, make it full width. So, but anyways, it doesn't matter that there's a bit of a gap there. That's why we did the caulking on the inside also to stop some uh, air movement. So I've got the plywood sitting all on there. I'm happy that it's against, against the framing and sitting where I like it. I'm going to tack it in place.
We're putting a nail about every eight to 10 inches or so around the perimeter and as well as uh, right at the joint of the plywood here. One on each stud and then as well down the stud about every eight or 10 inches. Okay, so just like that. So that's good and solid. I need one here. Okay. So that's our first sheet. We're the next one. We're just simply going to sit right on top of it. Set it right on top of it and uh, fasten it in place as well. Okay, so our height's good. Like I said, the width is a little wonky, but that's just what I had. Okay, if I go back to these two nails, if I go back to these two nails that are marking my stud, I know where the stud is again. So I can nail there, and then I can nail all the way up there. You could mark chalk line or use a level or whatever if you're not sure that you can judge that. Oops, I need nails. Okay, so basically all we've done here is uh, filled in an old door opening. Uh, so we put in the studs, put on the plywood on the outside. And the next step would be, like I said, to put the house wrap on. We do have a video on doing that, so you can check that video out. But uh, in this case, you basically just cut it to size, get it right out as far as you could. If you, if you were removing this old siding, what you could do when you did the house wrap for temporary, just pry this old siding out and kind of tuck it in behind there as well just a little bit further and, the, and then staple it on of course but check out the video it'll it'll show you all the ins and outs of house wrap um, I think that's about all I can really show you on this you could uh, like I said you could use OSB it just depends on whatever was on the house just try to use the same thickness of uh, a product there so so uh, I think that's all I can show you for today so check out our uh, YouTube channel and see all the other videos that I mentioned plus many many more. Uh, you can check out our website at houseimprovements.com and there you can find articles on uh, all kinds of different DIY type projects and other information as well to do with uh, usually home improvements and also our, foreman's, our, foreman, our uh, forum is there so if you have any questions, uh, any problems you can uh, write in there and myself or maybe somebody else will even hopefully give you a reply or you might even find the answer to, to your question on the forum that somebody's already uh, asked and had answered. Okay, thanks, thanks for watching.